Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to show you what's under here, under this new Tundra 2023 uh, new body. It's a new redesigned Tundra. Uh, now we no longer have the BA. Now we have a B6 twin turbo engine. So yeah, a lot of people don't like the idea of a b6 they want the b8 so i don't know so um this is what's on here this is what toyota is moving down now we no longer have b8 and um like here this is the b8 on all 2015 and this is the 5.7 b8 this is what a lot of people like. They want a big V8 engine. Uh, so let's talk about this one right here, the new one. This one is the hybrid, which is the iForce Max uh, hybrid engine, B6 twin turbo. Uh, the turbo is right here, right there one no they're back there somewhere underneath and the other one is located in the same area right here down there and like i said this one is the hybrid so we had this hybrid stuff in here and uh the power that produces this iforce max hybrid man is ridiculous so I wrote it down right here and this hybrid twin turbo B6 produces 437 horsepower and 553 pounds feet of torque. Man, that's a lot of torque for a V6. A lot of torque. Uh the BAs now the old BAs don't produce that much. Don't produce that much. So this being a B6 with a twin turbo hybrid is a lot of power man. And I can feel it. I can feel it. I I been driving it. I, I love the way it rides. Real smooth no problems uh it, when i accelerate it picks up fast uh 437 horsepower 583 pounds feet of torque on this new engine okay so you can tow for sure a lot so now let's move to this one this is my old 2015 uh this one's got like say 5.7 ba I force and this OBA produces 381 horsepower 381 horsepower and 410 pounds feet of torque and this OBA way less than the new engine the new Tundra what right way less so guys i've been toying with this truck i've been pulling my trailer as you see right now it's hooked right there and i put two mowers that's one up there and i put two in there and, and i push more that trailer is heavy man that's that's a lot a lot of weight and anyway so and on towing it this truck pulls it with no problem really really good with no problem so this is the old iforce 5.7 ba like i said it pulls that trailer with no problem i also pull a dump trailer back there And it pulls it with no problem. That B8. 
I love the sound also on the BA when you accelerate, you hear the BA for sure. That's the original sound. All right. And on this one, it's powerful. It's got a lot of power and a lot of torque. So, yeah, a lot of people don't like that, that idea of a B6. They're not happy a lot. But man, to me, I think it's pretty good. I think it's good. Changes, changes are good. You know, everything's changing. And so far, I don't know how we'll, how much. I know like, this thing is gonna tow really good. So I haven't towed yet, but I am gonna tow with it and um, see the difference. Uh, this one got a Toho Mo, Toho Mo. And when I push the button, man, in towing the trailer, it just goes. And I'm scared, it just throws me back with the Toho on. So I, I don't even use that. And, and imagine this one. This one is gonna be a beast. A beast, man. So, man. We'll see what happens. This is what we have. Okay. iForce Max Hybrid produces 437 horsepower and 583 pounds feet of torque. And the BA, an old BA 5.7 little, produces 381 horsepower and 410 pounds feet of torque. So I just wanted to show you guys that and, and see what you guys think. I know I'm probably missing a lot of things, but the main thing is the horsepower. I just wanted to show you guys the engines. This is the new engine on the Tundra iForce Max, like I say, it's a beast. So we're gonna be trying that. There is iForce Max. All right, guys. Later, later, man.